Good evening and welcome to your one hour power yoga practice. We'll start off today in a seated meditation. You have the option if you have a block, you sit on the block, cross legged. Placing your hands above your knees, palms facing up. Sitting tall, slightly tucking your chin in. And here, begin to tune into your breath. Take a deep inhale in through your nose. And slowly exhale out through your nose. You have the option to close your eyes and just allow yourself to settle into your space. Feel the weight of your body as you sit onto your mat. Allow yourself to be in this present moment. Tuning into your breath. As you are, inhale, sweep your arms over your head, reaching tall gaze up, drop your shoulder blades down, and exhale, placing your hands at heart center. Inhale, sweep your arms over your head, reaching tall gaze up, and exhale, hands to heart center. We'll do this one more time. Inhale, sweep your arms over your head, reaching tall gaze up, and exhale, placing your hands at heart center. From here, we'll meet some tabletop, stacking your wrists with your shoulders and your knees with your hips. From here, we'll do a few cat and counters. Inhale, dip your belly button down, gaze up, and exhale, 
pushing away from the top of your mat as you round your back and puff your back. Following the rhythm of your breath, inhale with your belly pressing down, loosen up, and exhale to round your back. Inhale, gaze up, and exhale to round your back. We'll do this one more time. Inhale, lift your belly button down, gaze up, and exhale to round your back. On your next inhale, tuck your toes, lift your knees and your hips up as you push away from the top of your mat into your first downward facing dog. Draw your chest towards your knees. And here, feel free to pedal up your heels, shift your hips from side to side. Don't you have yes or no? And just take what you need here in your first downward facing dog. When you're ready, on your inhale, bend your knees, make your weight on top of your mat. Keeping your fingertips to the floor, inhale, sliding your hands on your shins into a flat bend. Squeeze your shoulder blades together to lengthen your back and exhale, floor forward, chest to thighs, to release. We'll do this two more times. Inhale, to flat back and exhale to release. One more time, inhale, and exhale to release. On your next inhale, tighten your feet, sweep your arms over your head, standing tall, draw your knee, draw, roll your shoulders down as you energize through your fingertips, and exhale, grabbing out to your left wrist, inching to your right. Inhale, back to the center, reaching tall, and exhale, inching to the opposite side. Inhale, back to the center, finding a back bend here, and exhale, roll full to release. Inhale, halfway up, hands on your shins, flat back, and exhale, plant your hands and step back into your high plank. You have the option here to lower your knees down as you make your way down to your push up. Uncurl your back toes. Inhale, finding a small back bend here. And exhale, curl your toes under into your downward facing dog. In your downward facing dog, take three cycles of breath. And on your last exhale, bend your knees and make your way to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway up, hands on your chest, flat back. And exhale, forward fold, chest to thighs, gaze past your knees. Inhale, standing tall, sweep your arms over your head. And exhale, grabbing onto your left wrist as you hinge to your right. Inhale, back to the center, reaching tall, gaze up. And exhale, hinging to the opposite side. Inhale, back to the center, reaching tall, finding a small back bend here. And exhale, forward fold to release, just the foot. Inhale, halfway up, hands on your shins, flat back. And exhale, plant your hands, step, step your legs back into high plank. Lowering down to your push up, riding your exhale. Uncurl your back toes. Inhale, lift your chest into, a, into your upward facing dog. And exhale, curl your toes under, lift your hips up into downward facing dog. Whenever you come back into downward facing dog, allow yourself three cycles of breath. 
or root to the sum a omega plus pi. Inhaling in through your nose and exhaling out through your nose. Inhale. And on your exhale, bend your knees, step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway up, hands on your shins, not back. And exhale, roll forward. Inhale, sweep your arms over your head, standing tall, gaze up. And exhale, grabbing onto your left wrist, reaching to your right. Inhale, back to the center. And exhale, reaching to the opposite side. Inhale, back to the center, finding the back bends. And exhale, forward fold to release. Inhale, half up, hands on your shins, flat back. And exhale, plant your hands, step back into high plank as you lower down into pushing. Inhaling into upward facing dog. And exhaling into downward facing dog. Taking your time to reconnect with your breath. And on your last exhale, bend your knees, step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway up, hand on your shins, not back. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweeping your arms over your heads, and tall, gaze up. And exhale, page to your right. Inhale, back to the center. And exhale, page to the opposite side. Inhale, coming back to the center, finding your back bends. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, hands on your shins, flat back. And exhale, forward fold, plant your hands, step back into high plank. Inhale, to halfway up. And exhale, forward fold, plant your hands. And we'll meet some down facing down, taking three cycles of breath. Inhale into your nose and exhale out through your nose. Inhale in and exhale out. Inhale and exhale, bend your knees, step to hop to the top of your knees. Inhale, hop up, hands on your shins, not down. And exhale, your fold, just the thigh, deep as you move. Inhale, sweeping your arms over your head, reaching out, gaze up. And exhale, grab your to your left wrist, and to your right. Inhale, back to the center. And exhale, reaching to the opposite side. Inhale back to the center, finding your back bends. And exhale, forward fold to release. Inhale, half up, hands on your shins, now back. And exhale, plant your hands, step back into high plank as you lower down to the cushion. Inhale into upward facing dog. And exhale into downward facing dog. Taking three cycles of breath.
And we'll, because we'll build our sun V here, warming up our hips. From your downward facing dog, inhale, lift your right leg up, and exhale, draw your right knee towards your right wrist, finding a plank. Inhale, back, lifting your right leg up, and exhale, plant your right foot in between your hands. Pivot and anchor your back here. And on your inhale, rising up into a warrior one. From your warrior one, notice your hips here. Notice if your left hip is trailing. Push your left hip forward as you hug your right hip back. And square your hips. And exhale, opening your hips up, arms to a strong T. And in a deeper bend, from warrior two, you stand your right through your hips. Inhale, flip your left right palm, finding the back bend to your to reverse your warrior, keeping your right arm over your head. And exhale, remove your arms to the top of your mat, planting your left hand down. Inhale, lift your right arm up, finding jagged five twists. And exhale, look down. Plant your hands and step back into high plank, taking your flow here as you lower down into your push up. Inhale into upward facing dog and exhale into downward facing dog. And we'll do the same on the opposite leg. Inhale, lift your left leg up and exhale, plant your left foot in the, or draw your left knee towards your left foot, uh, elbow. Squeeze for a plank. Inhale, lift your left leg up. And exhale, plant your left foot in between your hands. You're going back to your back here. And inhale, rising up into warrior one. Exhale into warrior two as you open your hips and arms to a swan feet, gazing past your left fingertips. Inhale, flip your left palm, sweeping so over your head to reverse your warrior. And exhale, bring your arms to the top of your mat, planting your hands. Inhale, lift your left arm up, on your twist. And exhale, plant your hands, and step back at the height. Taking your foot, going down to your cushion. Inhale into upward facing dog. And exhale into downward facing dog. From your downward facing dog, take three cycles of breath. And on your last exhale, Keep your inhale in, sweeping your right leg up, and exhale, draw your right knee towards your right wrist or right hand or right elbow and squeeze for a plank. Inhale, sweep your right leg up, and exhale, plant your right foot in between your hands. Spin your back heel to plant your heel, and rise up into your warrior one. Opening your hips and your arms to a strong T into warrior two, using past your right fingertips. And exhale, flipping your right palm, sweeping your right head to reverse your warrior. Inhale, windmill your arms to the top of your mat, planting your hands. And on your inhale, sweeping your right arm up, finding a twist. To your dragonfly twist. And exhale, plant your hands, step your legs back to dry plank as you lower down to your push. Inhaling into upward facing dog and exhaling into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. And exhale, draw your left knee towards your left elbow and squeeze for a plank. 
Inhale, lift your left leg up. And exhale, step your left foot in between your hands to the top of your mat. Pivot back to your back heel. Inhale, rising up into your warrior one. Finding a deep bend onto your left knee. And exhale, opening your hips up, bring your arms to a strong T into warrior two. Inhale, flip your left palm, facing up, and sweep it over your head to reverse your warrior. And exhale, windmill your arms to the top of your mat, planting your hands. Inhale, lifting your left arm up, finding a twist. And exhale, planting your hands, step your left leg back into high plank as you take your flow going down to your push-up. Inhale into your upward facing dog and exhale into your downward facing dog. Taking three cycles of breath. When you're ready, inhale, lift your right leg up. And exhale, draw your right knee, your right knee towards your right elbow and squeeze for a plank. Inhale, lift your right leg up. And exhale, step your right foot in between your hands. Inhale into your warrior one. And exhale into your warrior Warrior two, arms still strong to you. Inhale, flip your right palm, facing up, sweep it over your head to reverse your warrior, on your back bend. And exhale, wiggle your arms to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift your right arm up, finding a twist. And exhale, plant your hands, step back into high plank. Take your floor as you lower down into your push up. Inhale into upward facing dog. And exhale into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. And exhale, draw your left knee towards your left elbow and squeeze for a plank. Inhale, left leg up. And exhale, plant your left foot in between your hands. Feel it back to your back heel. Inhale into your warrior one. Exhale to your warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And exhale, plant your hands. Inhale, left arm up, find your twist. And exhale, plant your hands, step back into your right hand. As you go down into your push up. Inhale into upward facing dog. Exhale into down facing dog. You can freeze a cluster breath. I will walk through Sunday one more time. When you're ready, inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, right knee to right elbow and squeeze. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, plant your right foot in between your hands. Maybe you're going to your back heel. Inhale, into your warrior one. Exhale, into warrior two. Inhale, to reverse your warrior. And exhale, plant your hands. Inhale, finding a twist, and exhale, taking a flow. Inhale, left leg up. 
Exhale, left knee to left elbow and squeeze. Inhale, left knee up. Exhale, plant your left foot. Inhale, to warrior one. Exhale, to warrior two. Inhale, to reverse your warrior. And exhale, plant your hands. Inhale, find your twist. Exhale, plant your hands, taking your flow. Allow yourself to reconnect with your breath and your downward facing dog. And when you're ready, bend your knees and step or hop to the top of your mats. Inhale, halfway up, hands over your chest, step back. And exhale for a full chest to thigh, three steps to knee. Inhale, keep the arms over your head, spread the top knees up. And exhale, placing your hands at heart center. From here, on the heel to your heels, as well as your mat, your toes are facing, are facing out, and your heels are in, lowering your hips down. Finding your squat. Drawing your elbows away from your knees. And notice if your back is collapsing. Standing tall. Engaging your core as you draw your navel into your spine. So now you're tucking your chin in and push your palms away as you lift your chest. And tune into your breath here. Taking three cycles of breath. Inhale in through your nose. And exhale out through your nose. Releasing your hands. Through your heels, the beautiful part. Inhale halfway up, hands on your shins, drop back, and exhale forward, fold, just the thighs, keep pressing the knee. Inhale, sweep your arms over your head, reaching far way up, and exhale, placing your hands at heart center. Taking a quarter turn to your right, placing arms to a strong seat. Pivoting your toes to the front of your mat, hinging forward with your left hand, and placing your left hand onto your left ankle. And here, creating a straight line with your left hand and your right, reach your right arm to the ceiling, creating a straight line, finding your triangle pose. You have the option here to use a block to bring the ground closer to you. Continue to draw your navel onto your spine to gauge your core. And keep a soft bend onto your left knee. Leading into the right side of your rib cage. Taking two cycles here. Inhaling in through your nose. And exhale up through your nose. Look down, coming back into your strong seat. Feel to your heels, just slightly wider than your hips. Toes up or pointing forward. Inhale, sweep your arms over your head. And exhale, holding forward into your wide leg, going forward. From here, you're walking your hands towards your heels. And just allow your head to hang here. Releasing any tension around your neck, your shoulders, and finding that stretch in your hamstring.
Taking three cycles of breath. Inhaling into your nose. And exhale out completely through your nose. Walking your hands to the top, placing your hands on your hips, and slowly rising up. Arms to your feet. This time, you're lifting your toes to the back of your mat. Inching forward, right hand to right ankle. And we'll do the same on the opposite side, I mean, trying to pull. Again, option to use your block. As you breathe into the left side of your ribcage, taking two more cycles of breath. Inhale into your nose and exhale out through your nose. Look down and back to where you started. You're hitting your toes to the foot of your mat, taking a quarter turn or taking a half step forward with your right leg. Option here to grab onto opposite wrist or placing your hands in reverse grip. So you choose keeping both legs straight. Inhale, let your chest ease up. Then exhale. Moving forward up to your left knee, I mean, right knee. Again, keeping a soft bend up to your left knee. Inhaling into your nose. And exhale through your nose. Releasing your hands, coming back to a strong seat, pivoting your toes to the back of your mat. We'll do the same on the opposite side. Grab you onto opposite elbows or placing your hands in reverse frame, your cheek. Inhale, lift your chest, knees up. And exhale, looking forward onto your right knee this time. Inhaling into your nose and exhaling through your nose. Releasing your hands, coming back to a strong seat, releasing your toes to the top of your mat. Taking a step or knee turn, mountain pose, hands to the heart center. Inhale, sweep your arms over your head, reaching your elbows up, and exhale, forward forward. Inhale, half up, half up as, as in your chin step back, and exhale, plant your hands step back into your high point, taking a flow here, lowering down to your push up. Inhale into upward facing dog. Exhale to down, facing down. Inhale, bend your knees. Find yourself in a seated position. Extend both legs. Draw your knee bone to your spine. Sitting tall, lifting your chest. Inhale, sit down slowly ahead. And exhale, looking forward, grabbing up to your toes, your ankles. Your wrist or your leg, whichever you can reach. Looking forward. Inhaling into your nose and exhaling through your nose, releasing your hands. Bending your right knee, bringing the sole of your foot into your inner thigh. 
keeping your left foot flexed. Inhale as you bring up slowly ahead. And exhale, you're moving forward up to your left leg, grabbing it to your toes or ankle loop. And taking three cycles of breath in this posture. Inhale in through your nose and exhaling up through your nose. Releasing your foot. Switch sides. This time bending into your left knee, bringing the sole of the left foot into your inner thigh. Flexing your right toes, the right foot. Inhale, so you put on slowly ahead and exhale, moving forward into your right leg. Taking three seconds here. And a deep stretch into your right hamstring. Inhale into your nose and exhale up through your nose. Releasing your hands and your knees and down facing down. And here we'll transition into our yin posture, starting with pigeon pose. Inhale, lift your right leg up and exhale, draw your right knee towards your right wrist and your ankle to your left. Guiding your back leg as far as you can. And as much as possible, trying to align your shin bone to the top of your mat. And here, inhale, lift your chest, knees up. And exhale, melting forward. Feeling that stretch onto your right thigh. Avoid any sharp shooting pain on your right knee. You also have the option to use your butt. If this is not accessible, you also have the option to go on to your back. Crossing your right ankle onto your right knee as you grab onto your left hamstring. So you choose your variation. And we'll stay here for 10 cycles of breath. And just allow your breath to lengthen this time, transitioning away from the yang postures that we just did. This allows you to settle in.
as you are, take two complete cycles of breath and allowing these last few breaths to be around it. On your last exhale, clapping your hands, or we'll knees and down, facing down. Your feet to pedal on your heels, shift your hips from side to side. And we'll do the same on the opposite leg. Inhale, lift your left leg up. And exhale, draw your left knee towards your left wrist and echo to your right. Sliding your back leg as far as you can. When you're ready, inhale, lift your chest heels up. And exhale, melt into the pigeon pose. Again, avoiding any sharp shooting pain on your right knee. And you have the option to go to your back to do the figure four. And just allow yourself to stop in here in this posture. Feel free to close your eyes as this allows you to turn your focus inward. Taking two cycles of breath. And then your last exhale, pressing yourself up, rolling onto your left hip, sweeping your right leg to the top of the mat. So make our way to lie down onto your mat, onto your back. From here, draw your knees into your chest, giving your knees a squeeze. Feel free to rock your knees from side to side. And when you're ready, placing your arms to a T, palms facing up. And exhale, lowering your knees down up to your right. Finding your twist here. Notice if your left shoulder is lifting, feel free to slide your right shoulder to the right side as the left both shoulders onto your mat. You have the option here to stay as you are, or if you wish to go further for a deeper stretch, feel free to place your right hand onto your left knee, applying a slight pressure. Option to keep your head forward. Or turning your knees to your left. Breathing into the left side of your ribcage. Taking three cycles of breath.
On your last exhale, releasing your left knee. Coming back to the center of your mat, drawing your knees into your chest. And we'll do the same on the opposite side, placing your arms to a T, and this time lowering your knees down onto your left. Option to place your left hand onto your right knee. And just allow yourself to settle into this posture. Taking a deep inhale in through your nose and exhaling out through your nose. Drawing your knees into your chest, giving your knees a squeeze. And lowering your heels down onto your mats. Here, walking your heels towards your hips, keeping your feet hip width apart, placing your arms beside you, palms facing down, and on your inhale, lifting your hips up. As you draw your knees towards, towards each other, option to interlace your fingers underneath as you squeeze your shoulder blades. Continue to lift your hips into your bridge pose. Holding here for five, four, three, two, releasing your hands as you roll down one vertebrae at a time. When your hips reach the floor, once you wipe your knees from side to side. And we'll do this one more time. We send your feet hip width apart, arms beside you, palms facing down. Inhale, lift your hips up, interlace your fingers, find your bridge pose, squeezing your glutes, and holding here for five. Four, three, two, and releasing your hands, coming back to the center of your mat. Draw your knees into your chest, giving your knees a squeeze, shifting from side to side. And when you're ready, yourself will settle into our final resting pose. Placing your, extending your legs, placing your heels as well as your mat, your arms beside you, palms facing up. And taking as much space here to allow your shoulders to press into your mat. If you have blocks, you have the option to use your blocks into a hard opening. Placing your blocks this is where your head is going to be and this is where your lower back which is going to be where your upper back is going to lay
rest in your upper back or your mid back onto the low flat, which is facing horizontally. And your head up to the top of the block. Placing your arms, taking as much space. And just continue to tune into your breath, closing your eyes.
If you're on top of blocks, slowly make your way back onto your mats. Begin to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Rolling your head from side to side. Inhale, take your arms over your head. As you extend your legs, the funky pose in the front of the to stretch the lengthen. And exhale, draw your knees into your chest, give your knees a sweep. Gently rocking from side to side. And when you're ready, make your way into a fetal position, choosing any side, using your bicep as a pillow. When you press yourself up into a seated position, I will meet in a seated position, cross legged. Sitting tall, placing your hands at heart center, gently closing your eyes. Thank you for sharing the practice here today. The lights in me, bows and honors, the lights in you, from my heart to yours. Namaste.